Hello everyone. So I am back again with my next presentation. The topic of this presentation is mountain ecosystem and it is a part of Geological Society of Assam's initiative to help the students. The learning outcomes. After completion of this presentation, you will be able to define a mountain. You will know the components of the mountain ecosystem, the mountain ecosystem services and the threat to mountain ecosystem. So before going to study about the mountain ecosystem, let us first understand what are mountains. A mountain is a large landform that arises above the surrounding land in a limited area, usually in the form of a peak. A mountain is generally considered to be steeper than a hill. Mountains are any region with rugged gradient rising above 2000 feet. Mountains are formed through tectonic forces. Mountains cover 24% of the earth land surface. They are the home to 12% of the world's population and another 14% of the population resides in their immediate proximity. Mountains have unique characteristics. The characteristic of mountain climate and ecosystems vary depending on the specific latitude. The landforms, biomes, bodies of water surrounding the mountain and proximity to the equator. Mountain ecosystems are characterized by harsh environmental conditions. These include often long-lasting snow cover, short growing seasons and topographically related disturbances such as avalanches, rockfall or landslides. However, mountainous regions share a variety of characteristics despite differences in climate, weather and specific indigenous life. These properties include rapid variation in weather and organism, biodiversity and the property of being fragile. While the specific weather experience in a given mountainous region may vary depending on location and altitude, some characteristics of mountain climate are shared between regions. Now, when you look into the abiotic components of the mountain ecosystem, we see the light intensity, the temperature fluctuation, wind velocity, moisture and pressure plays a very important role. Sunlight, temperature, water and gas phase nutrients, for example, carbon dioxide and oxygen can vary substantially with altitude and regional climate. In addition, solar and long wave radiation, wind and the ambient humidity also vary with elevation. Probably the best known abiotic change with increasing elevation is the decline in air temperature in response to lower ambient pressure. Ambient pressure decreases by over 20% at 2 km and over 50% at 6 km. Mountain ranges are sometimes subject to more precipitation than other ecosystems. So we see that the mountain ecosystem, the abiotic factors that work are the high elevation, snow, boulders, strong wind, low oxygen level, etc. Mountain systems are widely distributed across all continents from tropical to arctic latitude and thus support vastly differing biota. Mountain ranges are home to some of the greatest regional biodiversity on the planet. If we divide the biotic components into producers, consumers and decomposers, we find that the lichens, shrubs, grasses, conifer species such as pine, firs and the deciduous larches, willows and eucalyptus, they are the dominant one. The consumers are the fauna which include the panda, wolves and several large cats, snow leopard, black bear, diverse ungulate assemblies including the deer, blue sheep, takin, Himalayan thar, etc. Birds include snow parties, monal, black eagle, taucan, falcon, etc. Mountain fauna is less distinctive than the flora of the same place and usually reflect the regional fauna. 
the decomposers in the mountain ecosystem are the microbial organisms such as the various species of fungi, bacteria, etc. Despite such inherent differences, mountain serves various ecosystem services. The three main types of mountain ecosystem services are number one is the provisioning services. These are the extractive resources that primarily benefit lowland populations such as water for drinking and irrigation, fresh water, timber, air and so on. And the ecosystem production, for example, the agricultural production for local sustenance and for export, pharmaceuticals and medicinal plants and non-timber forest products. The next one is the regulating and supporting services. These are biodiversity, watershed and hazard prevention, climate modulation, migration, that is the transport barriers or the routes, soil fertility, soil as storage, reservoir for water and carbon, tourism and so on. And the third is the cultural services. Aesthetic and spiritual role of mountains, biodiversity recreation and cultural and ethnological diversity are some of the mountain ecosystem services. Threat to mountain ecosystem. Mountain ecosystems and mountain region climates are some of the most sensitive in the world. They are subject to extreme swing in weather which can prevent recovery of lost biomass. They are vulnerable to a wide range of natural disasters that are not nearly as dangerous in the lowlands. Mountain ecosystem is sensitive to climate change. Small change has a large scale impact. Unpredictive river flow, frequent floods, drought, crop failure, landslide, land degradation, desertification leading to habitat loss and finally the species loss. Due to the fragile nature of mountain ecosystem, large number of native plants and animals are considered at risk or endangered. Then there is also anthropogenic pressure such as waste accumulation and carbon footprint. Because some of the habitation built in the mountainous regions are very small and easily destroyed, the species housed there can be easily reduced in number. The fragile nature of mountainous ecosystem is a cause for great concern due to the critical role they play in the life cycle both in the mountains and in the land below. I have also added a few tidbits and an important interesting facts about mountains for you all to study. Thank you. For any feedback or suggestion, you can contact me in my email address.